Hello Year 10s, this is the antibiotic exam. Make sure you have your green and your blue pens ready during this marking video. So, first question, antibiotics are used to protect our bodies from pathogens. I've written here antibiotics to remind myself they can only kill bacteria. What is a pathogen? Nice easy question. They are microorganisms that cause disease. And make sure you put in and fill in the blanks for protist, fungi, virus and bacteria as examples. Bacteria may become resistant to antibiotics. This is actually called antibiotic resistance. What can doctors do? Well, doctors can do two things. They can just completely reduce or stop the use of antibiotics. And they can also stop giving antibiotics for non-serious or viral infections. This is asking doctors. If you are asking about patients, you would say complete the full course of antibiotics. Scientists can grow microorganisms and they are grown at a higher temperature compared to school laboratories. What temperature is most suitable for growing bacteria? Well, the answer is 40 degrees Celsius. Why? Because that's when enzymes work best and also why bacteria can multiply the fastest. The advantage of this is, as I said, microorganisms can grow faster. They will reduce faster. What types and now strains you might have seen in this exam a lot strains means type so what type of bacteria have developed resistant to antibiotics here we see a table of different um, people infected with a resistant strain just written here bacterium is one bacteria plural is a uh, bacteria it's asking you calculate the percentage increase in the number of people with a resistant strain Firstly, if you see the word percentage at one point somewhere, you should be multiplying by 100. So this is how you work out. You find the difference. You do 4,131, take away 3,499, over 3,499 and times by 100. And your final answer you get is 18% or 1806% or 18.1% if you want to one decimal place. In terms of natural selection, why people infected with the resistant strain is increasing. Now, every time you see the word natural selection, you're thinking to yourself, these letters, mutation, variation, advantageous characteristics, survive, reproduce, pass on advantageous genes, which is a G at the end. So, why are more people being infected? Why is that increasing of the resistant strain? Well, firstly, when a person takes antibiotics, the resistant, the non-resistant strain is killed. This is the normal bacteria that's killed. And the resistant strain will survive. So look here, the red, the blue, and the green dots are my normal bacteria. They are all killed when I when I or someone takes antibiotics. However, the blue strain are the resi resistant strain. So resistant bacteria. And they will survive and they will reproduce and then they will pass on their genes to their offspring. Therefore, the whole population of these blue strain bacteria will start to increase. Some, are, some diseases are cured by antibiotics, that's a treatment, and some are prevented by vaccination, that's a preventative measure. We can see the difference. Explain why antibiotics cannot cure viral diseases, viral caused by viruses. Firstly, antibiotics can only kill bacteria. We know that, that's our definition. Secondly, the viruses live inside cells. More specifically, as you know, they live in host cells. So the problem is, is that the antibiotics is inaccessible, meaning it can't reach to the viruses because they're inside the host cells. There's a large increase in population of antibiotic resistant strains. Why? It's very similar to that first answer on this page, Non-resistant strains are killed by the antibiotics. Again, the normal bacteria are killed. When you, someone takes the antibiotic, the normal bacteria die. However, as you know, the resistant bacteria will survive. And when they survive, there's less competition. They're not competing now against the normal bacteria. And hence, the antibiotic and also antibiotics are being prescribed by doctors for mild and non-serious infections. A person can be uh, immunized against a disease by injecting them with an active form of pathogen. A dead or an active form of a pathogen is a vaccine. Make sure you've written here vaccine. Here, as you can see, I've drawn a picture because 
when a person is injected with a vaccine, the white blood cells will start making antibodies. Remember, white blood cells in our bodies, they are making antibodies. Explain why this person is now immune to the disease. Well, the person, the white blood cells produce antibodies when they encounter the inactive form, as I've drawn here. And remember, the second time round, they are going to produce the antibodies rapidly upon reinfection. That means the second time the person has been infected. Look at this diagram. You've seen this graph before. You have time on the x-axis and number of pathogens on the y-axis. And you can see the first time a person encounters the pathogen, it's only at this point when this, they pass the symptom threshold, this point, their white blood cells will be making antibodies to kill. However, the second time, it doesn't pass the symptom threshold and the white blood cells have made it really, really rapidly earlier on. Table shows the resistance of antibiotic penicillin in a one species of bacteria. I've written here, who discovered penicillin? You should know. What's his name? Yes, it's Alexander Fleming who's discovered penicillin. And as you can see from our graph here, is that as the years have increased, the number of cases where bacteria is resistant to penicillin has increased as well. We can see every year it has increased. A doctor was asked to treat a patient with a sore throat. How does penicillin uh, treat infection? Well, it kills bacteria, nice and easy. It is a type of antibiotic. User data suggests why the doctor should not prescribe penicillin. Well, firstly, some of them could be resistant to penicillin. Percentus penicillin is less effective in the future because, as you can see, there are more and more resistant strains. More resistant strains. Finally, it just has, they have, just have a symptom of a sore throat. So, it might not be caused by bacteria. It could, could be caused by virus. And penicillin, as you know, do not kill viruses. Question five. You had to read the passage about antibiotics, and I've written here, you should be highlighting your key words. So let's read. People do not always agree with the use of antibiotics in food production. If we put low doses of antibiotics into the feed of animals, such as cattle and sheep, it produces high quality, low cost food. Antibiotics help to keep the animals disease free. They help the animal grow. And animals get fatter quicker because they do not waste energy overcoming illnesses. So it seems that this paragraph is all about the advantages of using uh, antibiotics in food production. The antibiotics in livestock feed means that there is a higher risk of antibiotic resistant bacteria developing. The rapid reproduction of bacteria means there's always a chance that a population of bacteria may become antibiotic resistant. This is dangerous to human health. So this, it seems, is the disadvantage of using it. Explain how a population of bacteria, antibiotic resistant bacteria, may develop from non-resistant bacteria. Again, we're thinking of our words, mutation, variation, advantageous characteristics, survive, reproduce, and advantageous genes. So here we are, in a population of bacteria, there is a mutation. And it, the mutation is that you have an antibiotic resistant bacteria. There is variation, as I've written there, of normal bacteria and antibiotic resistant bacteria now. When a person takes antibiotics, what happens to the normal bacteria? Well, they die. They get killed by the antibiotic. But of course, the antibiotic resistant bacteria will survive. Not only do they survive, you know the next word, they reproduce. And they will pass on their advantageous gene, which is the antibiotic resistant gene, advantageous gene to their offspring. Here's an opinion question. Do you think farmers should be allowed to put low doses of antibiotics in animal feed? Explain the reasons for your answer. And this is where you have to use the passage to help. Now, this is a opinion question, so there's actually two answers. If you chose yes, why? You don't get a mark for saying yes. However, you do get the mark to say because it keeps animals disease free so they can grow faster or live longer. 
if you've chosen no. Sometimes you need to mention that resistant bacteria may develop and this is a risk to human health. So you don't get the mark for saying yes or no, but the mark for the reason. Final question, question six. Big question, five marker, could be a six marking exam. Penicillin is an antibiotic which stops bacteria from reproducing. Here I've written, you must use penicillin in your answer. You are not using the word antibiotics anymore because it's a specific uh, antibiotic that is given to you. It's used a lot in the past to treat bacterial infections. Why? Because it kills the bacteria, antibiotic kills the bacteria in bacterial infections in humans and other animals. In many hospitals, there are now strains of penicillin resistant bacteria. And as you know, this is not good. Explain how natural selection, oh, keyword, we write our letters on the side, have produced these strains of penicillin resistant bacteria. Oh, here we go. In a population of bacteria, there is a mutation causing some to be resistant to penicillin. We've got our keyword there, mutation, and we can either call it resistant to penicillin or penicillin resistant bacteria. So here, here we have in a population of our normal bacteria, we now have penicillin resistant bacteria, that blue one there, there's a mutation. So now there's variation. We have some that are normal bacteria and some that are resistant to penicillin. They are penicillin resistant bacteria. So when a person takes the antibiotic, the penicillin, again we're using that name, the normal bacteria are going to die, leaving the penicillin resistant bacteria to survive. They don't just survive, they reproduce, they come together, reproduce. Now you should know they reproduce asexually or by binary fission, but importantly they survive and reproduce. And of course they're passing off their, their penicillin resistant genes to their offspring. And I want you to add here that this is repeated over many generations. It goes again and again passing on that penicillin resistant gene. Make sure at the front you count up your marks and you write your total marks in the box for your teacher to see.